what's up YouTube good morning Scooter Diary Manila once again here so for this uh, for this video what I'm gonna show you are the different um, gears that is uh, really a must uh, in my own opinion so I'm gonna give you five different gears that I'm using right now make sure especially for the newbie okay so again uh, this is my personal opinion I'm not an expert on this matter you know I'm just sharing what I think is a uh, right to have what is necessary to have uh, share it to the group okay i'm gonna just think everything down uh, top five uh, basic gears that i think uh, is really necessary for every new riders out there who are planning to to ride a motorcycle doesn't matter if uh, you're using a, a big uh, motorcycle or just a scooter like this one enjoy the rest of the video and uh, don't forget to uh, provide feedback or comments if in case there's anything that is bothering you all right so thank you so much and enjoy of course uh top of the list is the helmet this is very important uh, never ride any motorcycle without this this is the uh first protection for your of course for for the head this is really important this is by law is necessary for every rider okay again it, it's law uh, in the Philippines to use helmet for every for every riding or for for every rider okay wh whether you it's just a passenger or whatnot okay so it's a full face helmet uh, previously I have um, a half face helmet but unfortunately it was stolen okay but it, it's a good thing because uh, you know I decided to use a full face helmet suits uh, your riding style there, there's a, always a saying that of course uh, wh whether you're riding a scooter or a cafe racer or a classic bike it's the helmet that gives you the character of what the rider is okay so on this one you know I always use a full face helmet now this one is modular okay so it gives you uh, an easier access when you're wearing it okay this one is full face okay uh, the brand is, is all up to you uh, as long as it's uh, DOT approved and uh, has the uh, quality on it then uh, you know it doesn't matter what brand of a helmet you use okay another important gear that you should have is the is the gloves okay so so this one if you notice this is the first glove that I bought okay so I couldn't I couldn't decide what gloves to to buy because I was still uh, researching for for it so temporarily I, I bought this it's something that also has the basic uh, you know things uh, that you can have for safety for gloves so one thing that you should be looking at is the the palm side okay the palm side should have a protective uh, material there is and and of course the knuckles uh, remember during crash you know it, it's a common uh, the, to protect yourself you always lean your your hand forward uh, on the pavement whether you're running like 10 kilometers per hour to to um, a higher speed you know it doesn't matter because uh, basically when when you fall that that's the first thing that you typically do okay lean over your hand another um, Dianese, uh, Dianese, Di Dianese, okay, Di Dianese, um, gloves with uh, all the you know protective on on uh, protective material on the knuckles and on the palm. So, but then again, you know, I, I ended up you know using this. I, I sold the other gloves because it's something that doesn't really fit my my hand. Okay, so make sure okay you you try it on uh, before buying, especially those uh, who are buying online okay so another uh, protection here that is really necessary is this uh riding jacket okay so this one is branded um uh, nerve so i get it's uh this is the, the first jacket that i bought so it, it's uh you know it, it's fully padded everything is fully padded like shoulder elbow you get the the back uh, even the front and there's also a little of uh, air cooling that, that is there but pretty much this uh, jacket when I use it on a daily basis is really uh, not very comfortable because of the heat okay uh, um, remember all the paddings are plastic or rubber type so once it touches your you know it's closer to your skin or to your body okay 
it's really is very warm not to mention if you're in the middle of the day where the sun you know uh, is, is directly above you you know it, it contributes to to all the heat that is uh on this jacket so i, I also have another jacket with, which i use for a daily use i mean for a daily ride okay again this is my my first jacket when when i bought this i was thinking okay uh i, I was thinking of any jacket that would uh suit me and uh would be appropriate for riding but then again you know when, once you uh come come to realize it's not very comfortable in daily use then that's the time you uh, buy another one okay okay so uh, another important um gear that i use is this one so this is called balaclava okay, okay you, you wear this on your head as a it's, a it's like a bonnet or a mask okay aside from it filters the you know the the all the pollution that you get from all the jeepneys and buses it actually also absorbs the sweat on your head right so instead of uh the, the whole helmet is being soaked with your sweat. This one is an, uh, another absorbent for it. So there are different types. Like for this one, okay, uh, it, it's a cotton type balaclava. Okay, this one is uh, actually when I was using the open face or half face, sorry, the half face uh, helmet, I used to have this. Okay. Okay then uh, an ordinary type uh, i don't know if it's a nylon or something okay another thing is the the one the the arm protection so if in case you know i'm using a short sleeve uh, type of a uh, t-shirt or or shirt yeah i use this and in in, in, in fact it also adds protection because uh, my jacket the komine jacket uh is also uh, air cooled and um, sun go goes uh, straight onto your skin as well so to avoid you know uh, sunburn and uh, skin rashes you know this will protect okay guys so lastly uh, of course uh, foot uh, protection feet protection is really a must okay so I might be wrong but I really prefer if you can buy if you can buy yourself a, a re, real riding shoes then it's fine but again since it's just a for city riding okay I, I use a high cut uh, type of uh, shoes okay okay this should protect you uh, as, as as much as it can okay uh, I got several shoes it, it's uh, fully leathered uh, shoes uh, full leather so it, it's really a must it's really a necessary as well because i based on my experience it's uh, typically when, when you are squeezing yourself into traffic you typically put your foot down and who knows if, if another rider on a motorcycle or a car hits your uh, uh, feet or foot so it would be that would be a bad thing right so make sure this can really protect your uh, toes okay whether or not it is uh, you know you're on a high speed again or not okay so this is a bonus uh, item that i'm gonna show you okay i also have this always uh in in my scooter so it's a it's a reflective vest that i use when riding at night again it's a, it's pretty common sense that uh, this would uh serves it its uh purpose of seeing you dur during night okay on the on the past six months that uh i've been riding we've seen someone get thrown off uh, their motorcycle and lying in the middle of the road right so the the motorcycle was on the side of the road it has uh, all all the light and and uh, still turned on so yes you you will be able to see the motorcycle on the side of the road but the rider themselves get thrown away in the middle of the road and they're not wearing any protective uh gears and this uh reflectorized uh gear would definitely save you or at least uh, one other riders drivers out there in the middle of the road that, that you're lying down <laughs> whether you're conscious or not you know, it doesn't matter what's important is others uh, to see you 